just before I go on to my next one, um, I thought I'd briefly mention one thing I was really into in my first year at university that I missed out, and that was Harry Potter. And I got really into Harry Potter after reading the first book. I'd already seen the two, the first two films, uh, at the cinema, previous to it, but I'd never actually gotten into the books. And I never really got into the the world. The whole idea of children being the main characters and stuff didn't really appeal to me. And then I read the first book and the second book, and then I read uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, and I really, really enjoyed that one. That's probably my favourite. And then I bought Goblet of Fire, and then I ordered Order of the Phoenix and bought it on the day it came out. Uh, I did the same with Half-Blood Prince, and I actually had to order Deathly Hallows from, the, um, from Amazon, because, yeah. But um, other than that, I got them all when they came out, the last three, and I've read them all, and I really, really enjoyed them, and here they are. And I also have the movies, although I will confess, I don't actually have gob uh, Goblet of Fire. I only have the first three and Order of the Phoenix, mostly because I couldn't actually afford to buy Goblet of Fire when it came out. And then when I could afford it, I'd already moved back here and my mum had it. So I'll probably only buy it once I move out. And the only other thing of Harry Potter I have is, I have some posters, I forgot all about that. Uh, I had a Dobby poster and a poster of the car, the flying car with Ron and Harry in it. Uh, and I also have a pack of top Trump Harry Potter cards, Order of the Phoenix ones, which I found in town and thought, hey, I love top Trumps. But my next one after that, uh, in my second year, I wasn't really into anything specific until Cell got really into Starsky and Hutch after seeing the remake movie. And I saw the remake movie and thought, hey, this is, this is funny, this is cool. Um, but I didn't really get into it as much as she did. And then we went to see it again, all of us. Um, and I still didn't get into it. And then I thought, all right, well, I'll give the original series a go. And then I watched it, and Shootout was very much the one that made me go... Well, actually, my first impressions was, didn't the A-Team do a very similar episode? <laughs> yes, they did. Um, but who cares? This episode is great. And I loved it, and then I watched um, a lot more, and then I w bought the first season. And then I had to wait for the second, third, and fourth season to come out. But I got them all, once they did. And on the days that they came out as well. Uh, so basically, me and Cell had a Starsky and Hutch summer, 2004. Uh, we went to see David Soul in London when he was playing Jerry Springer. That was great. Uh, we had marathons for the second, third and fourth season when they came out. Um, we went to ZCon, uh, which was actually a multi-fandom convention. But um, we went uh, anyway to Chicago. And it was a great, I had a, I had a great time. That was, that was a lot of fun. Um, and the things that I have of Starsky and Hutch is this, which I wore when me and Sarah went to Starsky and Hutch um, on Halloween. And I was Hutch. I had a blonde wig, brown jacket, these trousers, and a plaid shirt. Um, other things, I don't actually have a lot. I really did love Starsky and Hutch, and yet I don't actually have a lot. I don't have the car, but I do have some magazines. There's two. Two in there. No. What? Wow. How many is there in there? Oh, four. <laughs> My god, it's been so eager since I took these out, I forgot. Four, uh, which I found in Oxfam. Um, actually, my housemate found them in Oxfam and told me about And I also have a t-shirt which uh, I, I saw in the window of Primark in Bristol and told Cell, and we went in and bought them <laughs> right there and there. And at ZCon I got a DVD of song vids. I've also read a lot of fan fiction, and this is most of what I have. There are a few not in here, but this is mostly Starsky and Hatch. There's a couple of Sentinel, one, Sentinel ones actually in here, but most of them Starsky and Hutch. 
Yay. That was the first one I bought. <laughs> and I've also made song vids, I've written fan fiction, I've even drawn fan art. Uh, not much, but I have done a couple. And the last thing I can find is a magnet that somebody made, uh, made me a little goodie bag of Starsky and Hutch. There was a magnet in there. Uh, I can't remember what else was on there because I've taken it all out and put them somewhere. Um, and that was pretty much what I was into for the rest of, well not for the rest of my university, but definitely for a long time. It kept on coming back. Uh, and it was very big and very long and I put that down to the fact that I had a friend who was also into it. And together we just, all we talked about most of the time was Starsky and Hutch. And it drove some of my our other friends kind of mad. I also have the film. Ugh, why do I have to always add things in afterwards? But I don't watch that. Um, yeah, and even though other things did come along, I think that was probably the biggest obsession I had at university. And I'm probably going to finish off with all the last ones I've had, or all of the other things that I've been into, because I don't think I've had an obsession as big as Starsky and Hutch since. Nothing's been as big as Starsky and Hutch was. But I will just finish it off by talking about some of my other ones that I had. Um, in university and up to the present.